start. Good morning. I am Nanji Kanu and I am faculty in mechanical engineering department, JSPM Narhit Technical Campus, Pune. CAD CAM and automation subject is basically taught to final year mechanical engineering students in our college. I am going to brief you, I am going to give you some brief idea about CAD CAM and automation subject. So, what basically we are doing is, we are going to see the some, we are going to see some mathematics behind computer graphics. Students generally they do not know what is happening behind the screen of that computer graphics. Let me give you some idea about computer graphics. Computer graphics, the example of computer graphics are so many, like so many graphics packages are available nowadays. Uh, those examples are Katia, ProE, ANSYS, Autodesk, SolidWorks. So, these are many finite element modeling softwares, these are basically available to us nowadays in market and students they generally use these softwares to model their components. Initially they model their 2D components, 2D models, they are doing 2D, 2D design. For example, 2D means for example, circle, square, triangle, straight line. So, these are 2D objects, these are basically coming over 2D screen. Right? So, 2D objects, so students what they are doing is, they are using this solid modeling software or finite element modeling software to design their 2D components. Once they get over with 2D objects, they just do some 3D modeling, 3D modeling means they are, they are modeling 3D components. For example, if I am steering, if I am modeling some uh, car body components, say for example, steering wheel, say front door panel, say back door panel, so these are 3D components. Once I get over with or students get over these 3D components, they used to assemble these 3D components for their final body, let us say car, car body. So, what they are doing is, they are, they are, they are assembling, they are, they are, ma they are mapping user coordinate system with global coordinate system, user coordinate system with model coordinate system. Henceforth, this is also known as, this is also known as general mapping, means general assembly, they are doing some general assembly. Why they are doing general assembly? To model those 3D components for that final body. This is how solid modeling softwares are going on or running these days. So, what I have told is, I have modeled 2D components, then we model 3D components and afterwards we assemble those 3D components for final body. This is what we are doing in computer graphics. Now, I am going to tell you some brief idea about what else is happening after assembly. We generally do 2D detailings, 2D detailings, the students also know it as part drawing. Part drawing means we have some top view, fine, top view, front view, side view. So, these three are known as basically orthographic projections of this actual body. Orthographic projections means all three views, say top view, front view, side view, apart from these views, there are some additional views also, say auxiliary views. So, these are some orthographic, orthographic projections which students are, which students are plotting nowadays for 2D, in their 2D design. Once they get over with 2D proje orthographic projections, they used to draw that isometric projection. Isometric projection is nothing but the detailed three dimensional view of entire component. For example, puri, for example, all car bodies, entire car body, that entire design of a car body that comes under isometric projections in that assembly seat. So, this is, these are the normal practices which are happening nowadays in industries. And in, in CAD CAM subject, we generally we need to meet challenges of customers. Many times customers are coming to us and they are saying that they want some changes in design. So, what we are doing is, we are doing some editing in existing design and we then again reproduce it through all stages, say 2D first, then 3D, then assembly, then detailed drawing and for further we pass this design to soft floor. Soft floor people, they, they, are, they are manufacturing that exact, exact view, exact design, whichever design engineer has passed to them. So, the, the, the thing is, students, they just know this thing but they do not know what else is happening behind the software. Means, for example, if I, if I will tell my students, if I will tell my students to draw a pyramid, I mean, they simply do one thing, they simply get it in a triangle form in 2D modeling and then they further extrude it for pyramid, triangular pyramid. This is what they will, they will do, but they do not know how that triangle is coming over the screen. Means, there is some mathematics which we know, which, which, which we should know behind the screen because many times I have seen that computer graphics companies like Siemens, they are visiting to us and they are conducting some placement drives. They just ask to students whether you are compatible with graphics or design. Then many times the students are telling them that they do not know what do, what they should do with some, with that existing mathematics to develop some new, some uh, new package of computer graphics. Say for example, these days uh, version 2 is, uh, 
version 5 is available for Katia. Now, what students should make changes, what students should do some changes in that mathematics, so that they should come out with some uh, different version of or upgraded version of Katia. Unless they would not change the mathematics, unless they will not change the mathematics behind the screen, they will not come up with some new packages, some new, some new, some new things which should fulfill the desire of customers, which, which should which should fulfill the demand of customers. That means that means nowadays, as a manufacturer, I should be very flexible with customer demand. If customer is coming and saying to change some to change in design, if he demands for something different product, then I should be compatible enough to meet his requirement to meet his requirement and that is only possible if we would change some mathematics behind the screen. Let me tell you some brief idea about curves. Curves, curves are available nowadays. Why curves are used? These are, these, these curves are basically to draw the profile of an object. Because European countries, European countries, they are not, they are, they are not using now straight line to capture the boundary of 2D object. They are not using straight line. Initially, what students and what people are doing, we are doing, they were doing, they were, they were drawing, they were drawing boundaries of objects using straight lines, short straight lines. For example, if I will scale up my circle, then I will see that I have not drawn that circle, I have drawn that polygon, I have drawn, drawn that polygon. This is the demerit of, this is the limitations of existing software. That means, we need to have that circle in some exact profile shape through means of some curves. And that is the reason why we basically nowadays rely upon some advanced curves some advanced curves, say for example, nerves, non-inform rational B spline curves, these are new curves and these are, uh, th th that curve is being patented by the, patented, these curves have been patented by the company because this, uh, this curve can meet the, meet the requirement of customer as it gives you some complicates, complicate shapes which customers will require for. Now, to, to get that curve over the screen, I need to play with some higher degree polynomial equations. Let me tell you some idea about polynomial equations. Y is equal to mx plus c is, a st is an equation of straight line. Now, if I will increase the degree of straight line, if I will, if I will increase the degree of equation, then I, I will come up with some quadratic equations, say a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Again, I can raise the degree of polynomial, say a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d is equal to 0. So, what I am doing is I am increasing the degree of polynomial equations and it is going to impact your smoothness of the curve. Because if you are increasing degree of the polynomial, again you are increasing the smoothness of the curve. And that smooth curve is actually being demanded by the customers nowadays. They want sporting bikes, they want airfoil safes, they want aircrafts having some intricate profile safes. Nowadays, Rafale has been purchased by Indian government. We can see that that profile of Rafale is not that straight line, that not made of straight lines, it is made up of some curves. So those are advanced curves. Those are going to meet you, those are going to depict every information over the boundaries. Means what? If I have some higher order curves, then mechanical performance of the body will be improved because it is not going to leave any sort descriptions over the boundary. But whilst, but but what if if you are using straight line? Then using straight line, you can't meet, you can't you can't cover up entire details of the profile because that is only straight line. And if you scale up, then you can see the triangle over the boundary. So that triangle is not required actually. We want high degree curve. We want high degree of smoothness in our body. Suppose if I have a curve and if I am going to extrude it, then curve is going to, then curve is going to be modeled in some 3D, 3D way and it would give you some surface, some exact surface. My students have asked me to generate an aerofoil, aerofoil profile. For example, if this is your aerofoil, this would have some profile like this, fine. And how you would meet this demand? This is the, this is the challenge in front of us. So how you will meet this demand? How would you limit this demand? For example, if I want to generate this air, airfoil, airfoil curve, then I need to use some higher degree curve, having higher degree with higher degree equations. But again, many times students are questioning me, if they would higher degree equations, higher degree polynomial equations, then, then there, there would be some limitations of uh, computer graphics software because see, if I, I have I3, I3 processor, then I3 processor will take uh, maximum time to compute that computer program. If I am using higher degree curves, it will take more times my students who are generating, uh, who are modeling some uh, infectious disease, they are telling me that their i3 or i5 processor is not sufficient to deal with a stochastic model. So these are basic challenges which we are facing nowadays. Means our softwares, our packages, our, uh, our graphics packages, our processors are not sufficient, uh, sufficient to meet the demands of the customers. 
many times we face we face difficulty in doing modeling because modeling takes maximum time it so basically i have give you some brief idea about cad cam and aut automation subject i have we have talked about 2d modeling we have also talked about 3d modeling we have also talked about general assembly and further we have talked about 2d part design so these four things we have talked about in computer graphics and we have talked about limitations of computer graphics softwares such as ktr such as proe such as ansys such as all autodesk so these are the limitations i mean i have told you about the limitations of this computer graphics and students i have throw some light on mathematics of computer graphics unless you would not understand the mathematics of computer graphics your task will not get done remember so mathematics should not be fear to those students who are generally afraid of some math modeling work so let me tell you some mathematics with some combination of uh, general algorithm will give you lot of fun remember cad cam and automation is the requirement of today's industries and you will really enjoy it if you would come up with this finally thank you and hope you will enjoy this subject in final engineering thank you